I think uh, freedom is an everyday uh, fight. Every day. You cannot live without freedom. Human being need it as he need the air and as need the food. For me, I think the big thing is 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 expression. It's the ability to be yourself, whatever yourself is, whatever yourself wants to be, whatever yourself has been. The um, poets are, are on their way up now. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> the International Writing Program, uh, which brings together writers from around the world for a three-month-long residency, has at its heart this notion of connection. We seek uh, every possibility to collaborate. We have a total of 20 artists working together, creating light, if we're lucky, and certainly uh, making possible uh, d new changes, new developments in their work as they move forward. And we hope in a larger sense that the conversations sparked by writers working with dancers will have some enduring meaning. And cut it ceaselessly and cut it forever with a single hand. I dance because for me it is a native language. It's the first language I think I really mastered and the one that I feel most comfortable expressing myself in. I think that there are some things that transcend words. We could have done only one thing like uh, dance alone or poetry alone, but this is a combination. So when we express the freedom, we can make use of the strength of the poetry as well as the strength of the dance. Freedom is about your mind as well as about your body. So here we have two components working together. The glistening thrive beyond the earth-shattering passage where the border is <laughs> Freedom means uh, uh, feeling uh, comfortable after, after your actions and feeling responsible for your actions. A sort of collaboration is a really precious experience for every writer because we are isolated creatures. She, she wrote the poem in times, she wrote me an email, it was really great her interpretation, her lecture. Um, in, in my mind, I split it up into three sections. Three? Yeah, the first part is more about the, the journey over, yeah. the journey and the ship imagery. Yeah. And the second is more about the religious imagery. Yeah. Uh, and the third is is sort of the, <laughs> the open one, more about the... The music. Yeah, the, the music and the food. <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, like, more it. like um, tangible. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You, you, okay. You got the whole thing. Okay. 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 Yeah. Better. <laughs> uh, if I'm working with an artist, she or he has all the freedom to do what you know she feels and what she images, what is her piece. I write because, especially in this age and time. Individual decisions, individual stories, and life in general are infiltrated or governed by superstructures. So I think the more that we need to write our story so that we will not be deleted or will not be erased in the global order of things. I'm taking clothes with crowds for rats. 
think freedom is the most beautiful thing about the United States. Uh, I've traveled to, I think, over 40 countries at this point, and that's, that's the thing I keep coming back to, the one thing that we have here that's so, so special is the American dream. In Arabic country, we used to see the ugly face of American people. We seen only the soldier. We seen only the blood. We seen only the phantom. We seen only the killing. And if you ask any of Arabic people, what about United States? They will directly say, this is our enemy. The Iowa City shown another face of American people, how they are kind, how they are friendship. All of us, we seen a different faces for America and the lovely face, the peaceful face, and I hope how could the American people transfer this face to our region. It's a very interesting experiment for a Kuwaiti Arabic Bedouin man to be here dancing yeah. for a party. <laughs> <laughs> In the constellations of Iron Wheel, for a day never runs past without a bright thought dropping like fresh milk from the heavy udder of the air. And the next thing that opens up is this, right? The, start with the seed again. The seed, when it goes into the seed, smiles bright. The seed that smiles, I'm sunflower. Yes. Sunflower. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sunflower taking opening. it from the exact, okay. the idea of a sunflower opening. So it's going to be something that keeps... I come from a family of singers. Um, I was never given a great voice. But uh, as, an, as an African, I've been dancing from a young age. In my family, I'm known as the worst dancer. But uh, I think my mom saw the spirit of dancing in me. How about um, between sun and water, lightning and wind? Um, sound. I want to make sound. Okay. You know, I want to make like like sound, oh, yeah, like, yeah, a, like yeah, the, yeah. the idea of thunder, thunder water, which is the you, do, you, do you describe? Between silt and water, lightning wind. and wind. Because all of these three elements have sound. Mm -hmm. Water has the sound, it can have a sound of, of impact. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, lightning also has, has, a, has a light, sound of impact. and wind has light, has mm -hmm. sound as well. And then hearing myself, I'll start that with sound, and I'll take it to the body, and I'll maybe make it to, maybe I'll say sound, maybe I'll make a, um, a voice. Yeah, something like that. You want to join me? I can join you. There we go. Who? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let's find the yeah. She. 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 I've always been writing. Whenever I'm not doing anything, I just want to write. Maybe I don't know what to give birth to. What? What do I want to give birth to? I just want to see my ideas, you know, out there, written and uh, maybe being read or in a theater piece uh, being performed. I tried to paint also, but I failed, and uh, yes, that's why I write, yeah. I've often asked people why they write, but I do find it a, a really difficult uh, question to, to answer, because I don't know how not to write. I've tried. I had a job for five years, you know, I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning, and. And, and kind of went to work and came back at five along with everybody else. And then I quickly kind of realized that my thing is that I love to tell stories, you know, for whatever reason. And so I suppose I write because I don't know how not to write. In Des Moines, I slept over in the house of an old woman married to a U.S. Navy veteran. Man, co-patrolled our shores when Marcos was president. 
No surprise why most of your senior citizens know Imelda and her thousand of shoes. For days, weeks now, we have seen no sign of sand or shore. We have left, yes, but our bodies cling to themselves. They crave the memory of walk and touch and dance. They refuse what is foreign, what passes for food, water, and air in here. We are none of us archers sure of our aim. We remain uncertain as the quiver that is our foreign voice. Exit from the shoreline, no return. Those ground-breaking waters, loosen yourself in other lands, born again. Born again? Tasting another fruit, falling apart. If a TV is eternally, eternally on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, he loves you. On a phrase by Emma Lazarus, Imprisoned Lightning. Way ere the flyboy called as lightning flashed around the plane plummeting through the clouds, one flight attendant fell into the lap of an aid worker sent home from Darfur for her refusal to inform the guards where she went after dark. Another broke a wine glass in the galley, and a third pounded her fist against the bathroom door ordering a small boy to return to his seat. New blood, new blood, new blood and feeling the spooking freedom the passes are carrying the message hope of many dies reading yourself from cocoons of previous masks shaving the bristle of sorrows emptying the brains Unbuckling the clasps of old myths, shaking off the dust of blunders and licking away the sweat that smells of fear and failure. Be confident. Try to manage. Just venture. And laugh and rise. Between silt and water, lightning and wind, she, 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 if one wants to grasp something, one has to release something, not something, but many things. The goosebumps, the bitter nails, the trembling heartbeats, the clinging deep roots, 
the dragging bulky chains, the wavering mids, the time you drop all of them and hold a torch, it is called liberty. Si esta noche no te puedo ver, si esta noche no te puedo ver, si esta noche no te puedo ver. Percussion. One month later, my father will be there. That day, he could hardly speak or stand up from his wheelchair, but he could dance. Artists always need somebody else's ideas and imagination and emotions. So this is exactly a collaboration because I am uh, um, giving my ideas and my emotions. I was remember when my father was dying, this is not easy. And uh, each time I read this, I leave it again. This dancer, I don't know, but maybe he hasn't had this experience, but one day he will. So collaboration, collaboration is sharing human experience and points of, of view. And you have to be very free and courageous to give your experience and receive someone else's perspectives. There are stars whose light you will never see, they say. Because the universe is constantly expanding, the stars racing to all the infinite corners of infinite space, their light too slow to ever make up the growing distance from our gaze. This is why the stars shine lonely in the dark night sky, rather than merge in their multitudes in a seamless sweep of light. And this is what you tell your children when they ask about the gaps in the family story. On one side, you have the dancers, you know, expressing things through their bodies and we are expressing things through our words. And hopefully somehow when you put those two together, you get this um, wonderful sense of what humans can achieve, what humans can express to one another. And it is in that that you get a freedom. We are free because we can comprehend one another. In that way, we are the most free. So for me, that's what this collaboration means. We are all moving so fast and so ceaselessly. Names, creeds, customs dropping away like so many light years as we blaze our irrevocable trails into the unknown. But at each of our cores burns the same strange, mad matter. And though we might die never seeing the light from one another, maybe someday, somewhere, Someone else will watch the night sky and see us all, our starlight, forming our own constellation. Mm -hmm.